All right, so now we've identified kind of the core things you want to focus on. And one of those I touched over a little bit was links. And I want to cover that more in this video. And what I want to talk about what links are and why they're so important. So basically a link is anytime a website basically links to you. So you know we created this site and one of the, the links we did was for search engines and we linked out to Google. So this is actually a link from our site to Google. Okay, and this link right here goes to Facebook. Now, this is a link from our website to Facebook, so we're sending Facebook a link. This is, you know, this is a link for them. Uh, just like if a, a website like this links to me, that's a link for me. Now, links are kind of like votes of confidence. Now, let's say, um, and it matters, you know, what those links say and like what type of links those are and the quality of the link. So, for example, Let's say that I own a music site, okay? And let's say that Jay-Z talks about my music site on national television. That's kind of like a like a vote of confidence, right? If Jay-Z is talking about my music site, that's big. That's a big deal because he's well known in the music, uh, and he's a famous rapper um, and entertainer, and that would do a lot for my music site because someone that's very credible for music is linking to my site. Well. If there was someone that I met on the street and they were, you know, maybe homeless and you know they had nothing to do with music and they talked about my website, that that's a that's a vote of credibility, I guess. But how much credibility is there, right? So here's the thing about links: the more credible they are, so like the the more known the website is and the more relevant the website is. So if it's someone that has to do with music, for example, in our example and they're linking to your site about music, that's gonna do a whole lot more for you than if some no-name website that has to do about cooking is linking to your, you know, um, your site about music. That's not gonna help you. What you wanna get with links is relevant links. And the more credible those sites are that you're getting relevant links from, the better. But the main thing you wanna focus on is relevance, okay? You wanna get links that or about music if you're linking to a music site. If your site's about SEO, you wanna get links from sites about SEO. So now, if I own an SEO site and Jay-Z uh, talks about my SEO site, it's still okay because he's mentioning SEO and, he, and he's credible, he's a big source, but it's not as good as if someone that's well-known in SEO talks about my SEO site, okay? So you wanna focus on getting relevant links from relevant places, all right? And that's that's links. So basically, that's what a link is. It's when another website, you know, links to your website. That like this right here is a link to Facebook to Google. That's that's a link for Google. If another website did that for my website, that's a vote of credibility for my site, and that's a link. Okay, that's what a link is. Now, anchor text. I kind of mentioned before. I want to tie this into this video too. I kind of throw this in late. Anchor text is what the link says, and that also matters. Okay. So for example, this anchor text is search engines because my link going to Google, the, the part that I linked is search engines. And that helps Google identify that Google is about search engines because I'm linking that it's about search engines, right? So anchor text also matters, but the main thing that you wanna focus on when you first start linking down the road is getting links from relevant places. So again, if you have an SEO site, you get links from properties that are talking about SEO or websites that are talking about SEO. So why do links matter so much? Well, the reason links matter so much is because they are they are very hard to manipulate, or they're, they're a lot harder to manipulate than the on-page stuff, right? So on-page stuff, once you learn it, it's pretty easy to manipulate. Now it's, it's, it would be, it's, let's say we're going after, let me delete all this stuff. So let's say we're going after um, best uh, best SEO site, okay? So let's just go type that in, best SEO site, right? Let's even do best SEO tips. That's a little more uh, use search. So best SEO tips. Let's go search this in, all right? so. There's 122 million websites out there talking about at the best SEO tips, 
All right, so if we actually put this in parentheses, it will say how many sites exactly have this term on their website, which is 301,000, okay? So 301,000 properties out there that have best SEO tips somewhere on their website. That's a lot of properties, all right? So the on-page stuff, although it's very important, especially domain and URL, it's a lot easier to manipulate, okay? So if they just focused on this up here, the on-page stuff, all I would have to do is go out and create a site on bestseotips.com and then put it in my title and then in my H tags and a little bit in my content and I'd rank. That wouldn't work because there's 300,000 sites that are doing that. And it would just be a competition of who's doing it better. That doesn't make sense because a lot of people would be very similar in their optimization. So they'd have nowhere to figure out who's at the top. So the thing, although this stuff is very important and you want to get it right, the thing that really sets the kind of makes the big difference, this is maybe like 20 to 30 percent. What really gives like the extra 80 percent is the links. And then, of course, the anchor text comes into play too, but it's really the links because that's like, okay, you know, we have 500 sites that are all are very well optimized for best SEO tips. Let's say out of these 300,000, 1,000 of them are like very well optimized, where they have keyword in domain or in URL, they have keyword in title, they have keyword in H tags, that you know they don't have a ton in their content, so they are, they're optimized correctly. Well, how do they know which of those thousand websites is better? They don't, right? The first part of the computer algorithm is just reading that they have about a thousand that are average, that are, that, that are the same. So based on their scoring system, just on the on-page stuff, you know, the URL, the title, the H tags, the meta, and the keyword and content use, they have, you know, out of these 300,000 300, results, they've identified a thousand of them that are pretty much coming up with the same score, okay? So how are they gonna, what's the difference maker? The difference maker's right here, okay? This is the kind of the next puzzle, or the next piece of the puzzle is, well, who's better right here? That's next. Now you gotta get this right to get kind of, get meet that first step, because they need to know what your site's about, but with a term like this especially, the more competitive it is, the more important this is right here. Now, if we did like uh, a term that there's only like, you know, five results on the internet for, you would only need this. You wouldn't need links. Why? Because if there's just five results, it's going to basically come down to whoever's optimized better on page. You know, the links probably aren't going to matter much unless they're very similar optimized, which they're probably not going to be. But in a case like this, where there's so many that so many results for that specific term, there's going to be a lot of sites that get all this very similar, right? That they, they do very similar work in their own page. So then it's going to come down to this right here, and that's really how they, you know, so you know, it starts at 300,000 sites that have this exactly on their on their site somewhere. So basically, there's 300 sites that are exactly about this topic, okay? But let's say they narrow it down, I'm just estimating here, let's say maybe there's maybe a thousand of those sites that have maybe let's say, let's say they have like a scoring system, I don't know if they do, but they, they score a hundred out of a hundred on on-page SEO or on-page optimization. Well, how are they gonna know which of these thousand sites, how are they gonna know which one to put first? They can't, they can't judge, remember if you go back to our sentence with the boring dog sentence versus the more exciting one, they can't make an opinion. They don't, have, they don't have any opinion on which of these thousand sites is better. They have to go to an algorithm. They have to go to the next set in their data. Well, this stuff, it's pretty easy to um, to manipulate. This, it's a lot harder, okay? So a thousand people did pretty good at, at, at manipulating that. So they're all very similar. Now it's gonna come to who has the better links. Who has the more relevant links? Who has, you know, it comes down to it comes down to a formula of the amount of links you have, how powerful those links are, and the biggest thing, how relevant they are, okay? So, you know, these guys right here, they could have just five links, but they could, they could be very, five very relevant links. Whereas these guys here could have 20, um, even if they're a little more powerful, but they're not as relevant, these guys could still win, okay? So there's no, like, I don't know the exact formula for what they use as far as power to relevance, all I know is to give yourself the best chance, focus on relevance. That is what's working the best, okay? Come in with power when you can and all that, and we'll, you'll learn about all this. But when you're doing your linking, and I know you don't know how to link yet, but when you start doing it, focus on relevant links. And you'll hear me talk about something called RSOS, reverse sink or swim. That's basically what your links say. Okay, now I'll explain that in just a little bit. So let me go back to my sheet here. 
All right, let's go to some examples. So let's go to my best Latin dating site site, and I'll show you the links that are going to this site. So I can f find out what links are going to the site through tools that are available on the internet. One of the tools I use is called ahrefs.com. So I'm just going to go analyze the links that are coming to my site. Let's go here. As you can see, you know the, they say I have 18 referring domains going to my site. You know this is how many keywords I'm ranking for, how much traffic I'm getting, and the value of that traffic per month. Okay. What I want to do is actually bring up the links of when I come up my, one of my competitors, the competitor that we used before. So let me grab their URL, their LatinAmericanCupid.com. I'll throw them in. Okay. And these are going to be all the links going to their website. So as you can see, they actually have a lot more links, so they're more powerful than me. The problem is I'm better optimized. Okay, so let's go to backlinks. And we'll go to my backlinks as well. All right, so let's take a look at my, now these are all the links pointing to me. So this site's pointing to me, this site's linking to me, this site's linking to me, this site's linking to me. Like all these sites are linking. These are all the links that are pointing to my website, okay? And I built these links all myself. You'll learn how to do all this. But just know these are all the links that are pointing to my website, okay? Like comeonrestaurant.com is linking to my website. And the anchor text they're using is Latin dating. So I actually, I actually built this link myself. And you'll figure out how to do this. And then, of course, here's the links for, um, Latin American Cupid, you notice they have a whole lot more, okay? They have a whole lot more links than I do, all right? So let's go back and let's read my link. So what, your, what, what I mean by like relevance and what your link says is, is like what your links say in the important places that, that I talked about earlier, right? So what do the links that are pointing to you say in their, pretty much in their URL title? I don't really pay attention to these for that. I pay attention to title and URL. So what are the links saying that are pointing to me? Well, right here, Latin, Latin dating, Latino dates, okay? What do these links say that are pointing to me? Latin, Latin dating, Latino dates. Very relevant, okay, in the important places. Just like these, these things are important for our website, these things are also important, especially these two, that, that's the main two I look at. This is also important for the links that are pointing to you and almost more important because links are huge. So you also wanna pay attention to this stuff in the links that are pointing to you. And the more relevant they are, the better, okay? So let's go to my next site, Latin, or my next link. Latin dating sites, Latino love, Hispanic mate date. Very, very relevant. You can read that it's very relevant, right? Now here's a link from a, a site that has dating in it, dating sites in the domain name. Remember, that's our most important factor. Domain is the biggest one. So that's a very credible link. Then you got top dating sites. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You got top dating sites, find top dating sites online. So again, very, very relevant. Next link, dating sites in the URL or in the domain name. Dating sites again, Hispanic, race, dating, very, very relevant, okay? Because they're talking exactly about what my site is about. Relevant links, that's what works, all right? Let's go look at uh, Latin American Cupid's links. So first link, Muslim matrimonials at muslimmud.com. Not as relevant, right? now. This is what a lot of people don't understand, and this is what's gonna really help you being a beginner. People understand that you need to get relevant links, but people don't understand that Google reads and doesn't think, okay? So although this is actually a dating site, and Google can correlate that. They, they know it's a relevant link from a dating site, or a site that's about dating, but what they really get their relevance from is what they can read. Okay, and if they can read something, that's where you score the most points. In mine, in my links that are pointing to me, they're reading Latin, Latin dating, Latino dates, Hispanic, Latin dating sites, dating sites, dating sites, interracial dating, dating sites, race dating. They're reading these topics, okay? Look at their first link here, Muslim matrimonials Muslima. There's nothing about Latin, there's nothing about dating, there's nothing about dating sites. This link isn't as relevant as mine so far, okay? So this next one here, Latin mail order brides, 
exotic Latin women. So that's, that's a pretty good one. They have Latin in their Latin domain, but still not talking about Latin dating and Latin dating sites. But that's still a very good one. Okay. Uh, where can I meet beautiful Latin women online? Again, that like it's good they have Latin in there, um, but they're not specifically talking about Latin dating sites. It's not as specific. Okay, and they do a good job with all these here. But let's scroll down. So like these right here, uh, again, just has dating in it, and it's a good link. It's relevant, but the differences mine are more relevant. I'm talking about Latin dating sites, Latin dating, Latin this, Latin that. This just talks about dating, right? Yeah, online dating sites, another good one. Like they're actually doing a really good job. Uh, five dating sites for Latinos, that's a very good one. Um, this one here, again, like it, it's relevant. It's, you know, it's about brides. It's about Latin brides, but it's not specifically talking about Latin dating like mine is. Okay. So this one here is foreign. You see dating in there, but again, the, Google's reading, and it's easier for them to read my sites, the Latin dating sites, than it is for them to read this right here. Okay, They know they can correlate this as a dating type site, but they can correlate better that mine's about Latin dating because they can actually read it. All right? And that's what I'm talking about relevant links. What they can read is very important. All right, let's see. Looks like they have a lot. I should have done one link per domain because we have multiple links from the same sites here. It looks like they actually own a bunch of sites and they're kind of linking them all together. And just like, here's another example, like single parent dating and singles. That's great, it's about dating, that's relevant, it's a good link for them, but it's not as relevant for Latin dating as I am. And that's why I'm winning best Latin dating sites over them is because I'm very relevant for you know Latin dating in my, in my, uh, in my links that are pointing to me. So the point is, what your links say is very important because that establishes relevance for what your site is about. Google reads the important places the links that are pointing to you to help determine what your site is about. All right, so that's what I want to talk about with links, um, and that's what a link is. A link is basically another website that points to your website, and that gives you a vote of confidence. And the reason that's so important is because it's harder to manipulate. It's hard. For most people, not for us, I'm going to teach you how to do it, it's hard for most people to get relevant links pointing to their websites. They just don't know how to do it. It's harder to do. It's harder to manipulate. It takes more time. It takes more investment. And that's why it's more important. It doesn't take much time or investment to, to create a site on best Latin dating sites, put up some content, you know, put up the right title. That's, that's somewhat easy to manipulate. But going out and getting these links, it takes a lot more effort, it takes more investment, and it takes more knowledge. Okay, And that's why links are do more for you than your on-page. But you gotta get both right to make it work. So on-page is still important, but it doesn't do as much for you because the linking is actually harder to manipulate. Okay, It takes more investment, more time, and all that. All right, so that kind of explains uh, what links are and why they're important. Um, and of course, I cover a little bit on what anchor text is, but a lot of that stuff I'll cover in my more advanced training on how to go out and get links and you know different do different types of linking. Um, so the next video I'm going to talk about the basic, uh, to probably do some more examples of the basic rules in place. And I'll do that with our example site, a complete beginner uh, workshop. All right.